Hi there, in this video we are looking at the Smoke Bee from Lensco. Now this here is a fun tool slash toy and you can use it to add that cinematic haze or fog effect to a scene. If you're a photographer, you can use it for things like product shots, creative photography, basically whenever you want to spice up the environment or the atmosphere a tiny bit. It's portable, it runs on batteries, so you can bring this thing out on location, throw it in your camera bag and basically have it set up and ready to go within a matter of seconds. Now, the same goes for studio work. Obviously, if you're a photographer or a videographer doing things like product shots, and if you've used products like this aerosol haze on a can spray, you know that it, it's very, very difficult to use and control, especially when you're dealing with smaller scenes or subjects like gadgets and tech and uh, that kind of stuff. So the effect or the smoke from the smoke B is going to be easier for you to control and to repeat and direct so you can pretty much do little bits and pieces here and there with smoke around your subject which is going to make your life in the studio a lot a lot easier the smoke bee comes with a carrying case along with a bunch of different attachments for creating different smoke effects and to simplify the placement and the handling of the smoke bee itself because in order for this to function properly you need to keep the device in an upright orientation like this because the uh, the liquid that creates the smoke is gravity fed so if you put it on its side it yeah you get the picture but these little attachments here like this uh, this tubing will give you a lot of precision and uh, ways of controlling where the smoke goes and and in what shape or form it uh, actually comes out of the machine there's also a tiny remote control that comes with the smoke bee and i'm going to show you these here uh, also oh well, let me show you this thing here first. This is uh, a little fan attachment that goes on top of the uh, of the smoke bee like this. There's a little battery and a motor and a fan inside. And this attachment will help you to kind of break up the thick fog that comes out of the machine and break it up to uh, to finer, more haze like um, haze like haze <laughs> uh, if you're planning on hazing up a room or something you will need to be uh, doing some wafting with a reflector or a bounce card or what have you just to uh, to get that even spread and that nice looking haze but that's normally what you have to do when you're using smaller fog machines anyway so yeah it's a great little uh, great little accessory to have I also wanted to show you and talk a little bit about the the actual fuel, the uh, the smoke liquid or fog liquid that comes with the uh, smoke bee. It comes in this little box here, and there's six of these tiny little 12 milliliter bottles, and it lasts a good while. <laughs> I haven't emptied one yet, and I've been using this for about six weeks now, so it gives you a lot of smoke, one of these tiny little bottles. But that said, it's it's just your typical run-of-the-mill glycol and glycerin mixture. So when these tiny bottles run out, which which they will, <laughs> you can just use any high-quality fog liquid on the market. And I would suggest using a high-quality fog liquid, cheaper ones. They can sometimes create clogging issues and that sort of thing. Another piece of advice that I also want to give you is to hang on to these small little bottles even when they're empty so you can refill them from a bulk container because they have this tiny little nozzle on top see if i can and that's gonna come in handy when it's time to refill the smoke chamber on the smoke bee because there's a tiny tiny little port that you use to refill a smoke chamber so having something with a tiny little nozzle like this is going to make your life so much easier and keep you from spilling and and creating a mess apart from from that that's not a whole lot going on there's a little power button back here that you just 
press and hold for a couple of seconds and it turns on. On the uh, side here is a standard quarter 20 mounting thread and a USB-C uh, charging port. So you charge this over USB-C obviously and a fully charged battery on the Smoke B will give you about 17 to 18 minutes of runtime producing actual smoke, which might not sound like a lot, but given the fact that this, <laughs> this little thing can output 20 cubic meters or more than 700 cubic feet of smoke per minute, it will last you for a few hours, especially if you're working on an indoor set and you're using this to create more like a gentle haze than a thick smoke. So using it indoors works really, really well. You can use the smoke be outdoors, but it's usually a bit more tricky when you're dealing with smoke and an outdoor environment because of the wind and the breeze, and it tends to kind of move the smoke around and dilute it very quick. But if you're fast and if you're running the smoke be continuously, you could obviously get great looking results as well. And if you're using it for, for stills, for portraits and that kind of stuff, then you only need the, the smoke to be there for like a split second. So uh, yeah, it, it works, but normally you would probably like to have something with way more output when you're doing scenes outdoors. These tiny fog machines, they're relatively new on the market. And the first one that I came across was the Smoke Genie from PMI, which seems like a great product, but it's sitting in a price bracket very different from the Smoke B, which when you compare specs and, and that kind of stuff, they're, they're fairly equal. I believe uh, the Smoke Genie gives you like 20 minutes of battery time and the uh, the Smoke B is like 17, 18 minutes and, and things like that. But the Smoke Genie currently sells for about $750, while the Smoke B currently sells for around $168, which is a super competitive price, making it kind of a no brainer for people like me, for people like you. If you want to have one of these toys for adding that haze effect or that smoke to some of your shots, but it's nothing that you're gonna build your entire career or business around this smoke machine then. The Smoke B $468 is kind of a no brainer when it comes to investing that amount of money. So yeah, I'm gonna put an affiliate link in the description where you can pick one up for yourself if you want to. Like always with affiliate links, they won't cost you any extra, but you will support this channel. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. If you have questions, leave them down below and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye.